Good morning. Um, welcome. Welcome to chemistry in uh, the uh, second stage uh, with you, uh, Dr. Fatma Ahmed, the chemistry teacher in uh, the uh, AMS or Ahram Modern uh, School of the Hadar al Ahram. Today, we will discuss the first part of the revision oriented or directed to the students of uh, second year, uh, secondary one, who is uh, study the science of PREP 3 in the previous year. So, in uh, this part uh, of revision, uh, part one, we will discuss the uh, two main topics which we studied in the previous year. What is the contents of the uh, chemistry or related to chemistry in the science of PREP 3? There are two, uh, three topics uh, related to chemistry in the science of PREP 3. Uh, the first topic is chemical re uh, reactions. The second is the speed of the chemical reactions. And the third one is radioactivity and nuclear energy. Today, we will discuss the first two uh, topics, chemical reactions and speed chemical reactions. These two parts are taken in the previous year in details and uh, the students uh, make uh, the researches on this part. Uh, but the uh, last uh, topic, which is radioactivity and nuclear energy, we will discuss in the part two of revision in details because this part not studied in the previous year. So. Today we will discuss what is the chemical reaction and some related expressions. And uh, we will uh, discuss the uh, speed or the rate of the chemical reaction. What is the chemical reaction as written? It is the breaking up of bonds in the reactant molecules and formation of new bonds in the products or resultant molecules from the reaction. This means the uh, molecules of the reactant. Uh, there is uh, many bonds in these molecules. Uh, they will be breaking down. Then uh, the free radicals of free ions or free parts will uh, form a new bonds with each other to form new products, new compounds, which resulted from the chemical reaction. According uh, to uh, the chemical reaction, there are several types of these chemical reactions. Uh, one of them called thermal decomposition reaction, the second one called substitution reactions, and the third one is called oxidation reduction reaction. Uh, in the thermal decomposition reaction, as written, there are chemical reactions which involve the breaking up of the compounds with the effect of heat into its primary elements or simpler compounds than the original ones. This will discuss the effect of heat on the chemical structure of some compounds, which is breaking down due to the effect of heat to give a more simple products, more simple element or primary elements. Um, uh, and uh, in the uh, curriculum of uh, PREP3, uh, the students take many, many examples for this thermal decomposition reaction. Uh, the second type of chemical reactions was um, or is uh, substitution reactions. There are two types of substitution reactions, which one, uh, the first one is simple substitution reaction and the second one, double substitution reaction. The difference between them is very uh, uh, simple, but is very important and depend on the very important uh, concept, which is called chemical activity series. What is the chemical activity series or CAS? It is the arrangement of metals in a descending order according to the degree of the chemical activity. This means what? Uh, metals are arranged uh, in the, according to their uh, chemical activity uh, and we put the most active chemical metal in the top of the series and the least active chemical 
uh, or the least uh, active chemically element put it in the bottom of these series in between the top and bottom the uh, elements or metals are arranged according to their activity from the most active to least active According to this chemical activity series, the most el uh, active element replace the least active element in its salt or in its compound. This is the explanation or the reason for the occurrence of simple or double substitution action. So the simple substitution action, there are chemical reactions in which one of the elements substitute another list active element in a solution of its compounds. While the, uh, the double substitution reaction, it's uh, the exit, exit change. What is the meaning of exit change? This is means two compounds react to each other and these two compounds exit change the, uh, the radicals together to form a new chemical compounds as a product. Okay. From the most famous double substitution reaction, uh, the neutralization reaction. So what is the neutralization reaction? It is the reaction between an acid and an alkali to form what? To form salt and water. After that, we will transfer to the oxidation reduction reactions. And the, uh, con uh, the definition of four expressions in two ways according to the uh, traditional concept and according to electronic concept. The four expressions with, uh, which we will be discussing now, what is the meaning of reducing agent, oxidizing agent, oxidation process, and reduction process. From the view of traditional concept, the reducing agent, it is the substance which takes oxygen away or give hydrogen during the chemical reaction while the opposite substance is called oxidizing agent, which is the substance which gets oxygen or takes hydrogen away during the chemical reaction. This is the traditional concept. And the oxidation process, according to traditional concept, it is a chemical process which causes the increase in the oxygen percentage or decrease the hydrogen percentage in a substance. While the opposite process, which is called reduction process, it is a chemical process which causes the decrease in oxygen percentage or an increase in the hydrogen percentage in a substance. But from the electronic concept view, the reducing agent is uh, and uh, the process of oxidation and reduction and the definition of reducing agent and oxidizing agent are explained on the basis of the movement of electrons between the atoms. From this view, reducing is, uh, agent is defined as it is the substance which closes an electron or more during the chemical reaction, while the oxidizing agent, it is a substance which gains an electron or more during the chemical reaction. Then the oxidation process, it is the chemical process where the atom loses an electron or more. While the reduction process, it is a chemical process where the atoms gains an electron or more. Till this point, we finish the types of the chemical reactions and how it is occurred. Now we will transfer to discuss the speed of chemical reactions or the rate of chemical reactions. What is the meaning of these expressions and what is the type or are, what are the types of chemical reaction according to their speed or rate and how to control the speed of the chemical reactions. The definition of the speed of chemical reaction, it means the change in the concentration of reactants and products at a unit time. In the first of any chemical reactions, reactant present with 100% concentration or the maximum concentration, while the product concentration is 0% or the minimum concentration. By passing the time, the concentration of reactant will decrease 
On the other side, the concentration of products will increase until the chemical reaction finished, where the reactant disappear or its concentration will be zero percentage and the product will present as a maximum concentration or with 100% of the concentration of the chemical reaction. According to the speed of chemical reaction, there are four types of chemical reactions. Very fast chemical reaction or instantly chemical reactions, which takes place within a few seconds. Like the reaction of sodium element with water. What is the second type? It is the post chemical reactions, which takes some minutes to complete it. The third type of chemical reaction, which is slow chemical reactions, which make many uh, can take uh, hours or days to complete it. For example, the rusting of air. Finally, there are very, very slow chemical reactions or two slow chemical reactions. Uh, for example, the formation of the oil or petroleum under the earth crust, which takes thousands or millions of years to occur. Now we will transfer to how to uh, control the speed of chemical reaction, how to increase the speed or decrease the speed. We use substance to decrease or de increase the speed of chemical reaction. Uh, this substance is called catalyst. So the catalyst, it is a, 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 chemical, a chemical compound, uses a little amount added to the chemical reaction medium to change the speed of the chemical reaction. But it's very important to observe that from the main properties of the catalyst, what uh, is called it is not consumed during the chemical reaction and not change it during the chemical reaction. As it enters the chemical reaction as they exit from the chemical reaction. So the definition of catalyst, it is a chemical su a substance which change the rate of the chemical reaction without changing or being used up. If the catalyst increase the speed of the chemical reactions, this catalyst is called positive catalyst and the chemical reaction is called positive catalytic reaction. On the other side, if the catalyst decrease the speed of the chemical reactions, it is called negative catalyst and the chemical reactions will be called negative catalytic reaction. Uh, by the way, the moles of the catalyst are positive. There, are, uh, there is uh, or there are uh, some special catalysts uh, formed inside the living cells of the living organism and they're very, very important to complete all biological chemical reactions inside the living organism or inside the living cells. This uh, special category called enzymes. So the enzymes, these are a chemical substance produced by the body of the living organism and act as catalyst for what? To increase the speed of biological reactions. So the enzymes are positive catalyst. From the uh, application of the using catalyst in our life is the using of catalytic converter. What is the catalytic converter? It is a, met uh, a metallic can exist in most modern cars for what? To treat the harmful gases emitted from the engine. The modern cars uh, use this catalytic converter to convert the harmful gases emitted or come from the engine, which is harmful for the environment and converted to non-toxic substance safe to environment to decrease the pollution of the environment. So it is very important application of the using catalyst. Till this point, we will finish our uh, part one of the revision. In the second part, inshallah, we will discuss the radioactivity and the nuclear energy in details. Thank you for you and goodbye.